Hi. So I'm on my way to Stitches. Ah. Uh, I it's 9:30, and I am I'm just now kind of on the road. I'm still on the highway going out of town, and uh, I, the Google Maps says that it's going to take me seven hours to get there. It usually takes me a little longer because I have to stop for a lot of bathroom breaks because I refuse to not drink coffee and water when I travel. So it's probably going to, I'm thinking I'll get there. I'll get into an area around five, but I always kind of hit it around like rush hour traffic. So I'm probably more realistically going to get there at like seven. I mean six. Probably six. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It's going to be a long drive. But I'm excited. It's going to be fun. And yeah, I got a full gas tank. I've got coffee and water and a passenger seat full of snacks. And I've got a brand new audiobook loaded onto my telephone. And um, it's the third in that Becky Chamber series. It's called, I'm almost done with A Closed and Common Orbit, which I talked about in my last episode that I'm reading right now. And so the next book in that series is called Record of a Space Born Few. And that's the book I got last night. So I'm gonna be listening to that later. Right now I'm listening to some music. I also downloaded some podcast episodes of the, Anth the new Anthropocene Reviewed. I also got the last couple Dear Hank and John's and the last couple SciShow episodes. As you can see, the only podcasts that I listen to outside of knitting podcasts are Green Brothers podcasts. So, you know, fan, fan girl, I guess. I don't know. All right, I'm going to stop talking because I feel like I should be focusing on driving instead. So I will see you later. Um, hopefully when I arrive safely and not too terribly exhausted at my hotel room. Yay. Okay, bye. I'm here. I made it to Santa Clara. My drive um, was great for the most part. Uh, it's a really, it's a long drive, but it's it's a pretty easy, chill drive through like kind of winding California highway through like oaklands and vineyards and redwoods um, until you hit the city, until you hit the Bay Area. And then the last like two hours of it is all like city freeway driving. And that's like all of my like <laughs> that I feel when I'm done with that driving trip is in that last two hours of city freeway driving. But it's all over now. I'm at my hotel. I'm in Santa Clara. <sighs> this is great. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited. Uh, and it was a really quick trip. It, it was way quicker than it normally is. I got here the earliest that I've ever gotten here coming to Stitches. And uh, I'm really excited to be here. I was really tempted. I just looked up uh, a little while ago the <sighs> info for the fashion show that's happening tonight at Stitches. I'm like, my hotel is probably about a mile from where Stitches is, so it's really close. And um, I could, the fashion show starts in seven minutes. <laughs> it starts at 6.30. And, um, I thought about going to that. I didn't have anything planned for tonight because I didn't know when I was going to get here. Um, but I think I let enough time pass and let time decide for me that I'm not going. I don't know. It sounded really cool and fun and I feel like it could have been really fun to just like get into the whole social aspect of being here. But um, I don't know. You know, I dragged my feet. I'm all tired. And so I guess I didn't do it. Anyway, I'm here and I'm really excited. I um, have already watched Cartoon Network for like half an hour, which is my very favorite thing to do when I come to Stitches. That's not true, obviously, but <laughs> one of the joys of 
coming to Stitches for me is staying in a place that has like television and like cable and stuff. And I get to watch the Cartoon Network and somehow, I don't know if this is just how the Cartoon Network works, but somehow every single time that I'm here and I put it on the Cartoon Network, Teen Titans Go is on, which is like, it's not my favorite thing in the entire world, but I love it so much. And so I already got to watch that, and then I got to watch home movies, and then I got to watch Bob's Burgers, because it's Adult Swim, and Adult Swim is really nostalgic for me anyway. I'm not going to go into a whole cartoon tangent for you guys. I really just came on here to tell you about what I brought, because <laughs> I brought... Uh, do you guys, I'm just going to do Tangentsville right now. Welcome to the Stitches 2020 vlog, where I just... I don't even know what I'm doing. Anyway, you are typically when I record like a podcast or on my tripod, which I didn't bring. So in my hotel room, I, sp I just spent about 10-15 minutes scouring my hotel room trying to find stuff I can pile on top of each other to put my camera on top of so that it would be the right height to record while I'm sitting on the couch. My hotel room, by the way, do you like how I tangent off of a tangent, is the first hotel room that I ever stayed in when I went to Stitches. I randomly picked the same hotel. <laughs> It's really cool. It's got like a separate bedroom, which I've never experienced before, except for in this hotel. And there's two TVs, because there's one in the living room and one in the bedroom. Anyway, I found you are on the ice bucket, which I've never used before. So I'm finally using my ice bucket that comes in the hotel room. The And then on top of that is the tissue box cover. And then the tissue box itself and then a roll of toilet paper, and then the camera, and that got you to the perfect height. The roll of toilet paper was really the thing I, like, once I thought of doing that, I was like, oh, this is gonna be perfect. And I had to actually take a roll of toilet paper off the thing, because there wasn't like an extra one, there's just two that, okay. Anyway, do you wanna know what I brought, knitting-wise, to stitches? Okay, so I brought my Gatsby shawl which I've been sitting here working on right now. This is it. You saw it in the last Moonstone Dioworks episode. You saw it in the last Squirrel Pie Productions podcast episode. It is knit out of Moonstone Dioworks yarn. Uh, um, and I have just gotten to the stockinette chevron section, and I am currently on the row. I'm about to start the row where you do the bobbles. So as soon as I stop recording, I'm gonna knit my very first bobble. Are you excited for me? I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to knit my first bobble and it's gonna happen literally in like 10 minutes, so. <sighs> That's freaking awesome. This is staying with me in the hotel room. I'm not taking this with me to the convention center tomorrow because I don't do that kind of knitting in social situations, like ever. And then I brought a sock. I brought Colin Sock, I was very good. This is Two Guys Yarn Company, which they are usually at Stitches. And I got this skein of yarn at Stitches, like maybe the first year I went to Stitches, so maybe the same year that I stayed in this very hotel room. And this is a sock that I've been working on for Colin, who is my husband. And it's a vanilla sock out of some Robin's Egg Blue Tweed yarn. So I brought that, <laughs> and then I also cast on a new vanilla sock for me, because, I don't know, you know, I was like, yeah, I got a vanilla sock for Colin going, but what I really should do is cast on a new vanilla sock for me, so I did. I wound up the yarn last night while I was packing for my trip, and I cast it on down at the hotel bar, maybe... 20 minutes ago because what else is super cool about this hotel is that when you check in you get a free drink ticket and every night you stay here you get one free drink at the bar which is awesome so I went and got my free drink and I cast on my new socks I got a Manhattan by the way which is one of my favorite cocktails in case you're interested so this yarn is a new addition to my stash I got it in a swap fairly recently and it's beautiful it's Okay, it's a hand-dyed yarn that I had never heard of 
before, and so I'm really excited to try it. It's Murray & Co. Wool Goods, and it is the Love Letter colorway, and it's pink and gray with like a little bit of like robin's egg blue slash mint green in it, but just like a little bit here and there. So that's exciting. This is what I knit on while I was drinking my free cocktail. And also there was a basketball game on, so I was half watching that. I don't watch basketball, but it seemed fun. I was like one of the only people at the bar. I did see one woman come up and order a drink and then leave, and she was wearing a obviously hand-knit shawl. I don't know what the pattern is called, but I know I've seen it before. It's this triangular shawl where it has like like wave things and it like goes down to a really sharp point. Anyway, she was wearing that. So obviously she's here for stitches. Did I talk to her? No, of course not. Cause I'm shy. I'm not shy. I hate that term. I hate the term shy, but I'm, I don't know. I'm awkward and I can't just go up to strangers and be like, hey, do you knit? I knit too. Okay, anyway. That's it. That's what I brought to knit on. I'm really excited. And so I guess I'm going to spend the rest of the evening watching cartoons and uh, drinking the LaCroix that I brought because I really like these. And so I brought them with me and there's a fridge in my hotel room. So boom. And drinking just a teeny, 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 tiny bit of some Maker's Mark bourbon that I purchased at the local Whole Foods when I got here. So good night. <laughs> I hope uh, wherever you are, whenever it is that you are, you're having a good day or evening or whatever, and I will see you tomorrow at Stitches. Bye. You're missing the point, Morty. Why would he try to Okay, now Rick and Morty is on. Does your car look like a smaller version of your house? I'm just saying this is my dream come true. Cartoon Network is like, It's just my favorite, you guys. It's what I like. <laughs>
I wish you guys were be could be here with us and Me we could too. take pictures and do selfies <laughs> and buy all the yarn. Totes. Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm driving home. It's 10:30 in the morning, and uh, I left at 8:30 this morning. Um, I had really tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny, vague ideas that maybe I would stick around for a little bit of the market today because stitches is still going on on Sunday. I kind of had a really had a little bit of a desire to go back to the market and keep looking at stuff and maybe get some more stuff. Um, but I woke up early this morning and decided to just come home because that seemed like the thing to do. So it's pretty great. I left early and I got a great start and now I'm like, I don't know, maybe halfway home? I don't know, we'll see. Less than, ha more than half, less than halfway home. I'm less than halfway home. Anyway, I had a great time at Stitches. I had such a blast. Um, I pretty much just spent pretty much all day Saturday at the convention center at the market in the lobby which I found <laughs> and um, I so I went to the meetup that the girls at the yarn cafe had and it was so much fun and uh, they invited me to go out to lunch with them so I got to go out to lunch with Christy and Tristan and the girls at the yarn cafe and a tailor of old needles hands and it was so much fun and such a good time thank you to all three of you lovely beautiful people for letting me join in on your lunchy fun. Anyway, um, then we went back to the market, walked around a little more, hung out in the lobby a little more with some friends, and that was pretty much it. Then dinner time came around, I went back to my hotel room, and uh, after having a little bit of like decompression time, I went back out and met up with another friend of mine who turned out to be at a really close by hotel to mine, uh, within walking distance, so I walked over to her hotel and we just hung out for a little while and then I went home and uh, binged some more cartoons. So <laughs> when I travel and I'm in a hotel room or just somewhere with like TV that has like, I don't know, cable or whatever, and I have the Cartoon Network, that is all I want to watch. And uh, at night, Cartoon Network it turns into Adult Swim, which I love. I love Adult Swim. And uh, last night it was Toonami, which is a part of Adult Swim. Anyway, you don't care about the inner workings of Cartoon Network. But um, I watched a bunch of anime last night. Um, a few shows that I've never seen before, one of which is called Food Wars, and it's amazing. I love it. It's a food competition show, but it's an anime. So, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I loved watching all the cartoons. But I loved being at Stitches more. And I did make some really great yarn purchases and stitches. I'm really happy with what I got. And um, I'll probably be showing you what I got in my next episode. I bought some nightshades by Harrisville Designs, which I've been um, kind of after ever since it got released and I'm really happy to have some now. I got a sweaters quantity in like the olive green kind of color. So I'm really excited about that. And then I got uh, one skein of light fingering wool and cotton blend from Yoth Yarns. I think it's called Best Friends is the base. 
Uh, and I totally got it because they had a sample out of this tank top that I really liked the look of. I liked the way they modeled it. They modeled it over this really cool, like, you know, flowy linen dress. And uh, so I bought the yarn for that. And for my size, it only calls for one skein. So that was kind of awesome. And then that's all I got for me. And then I got a bunch of stuff for you. So uh, I had such a good time shopping for prizes because I got to just kind of like, shop for the ooh pretties, you know, without like the torment of like, well, what am I going to do with this? You know what I mean? So that was kind of the funnest part is was shopping for prizes. So, um, I got stuff from Woodsy and Wild and Lavender Loon Yarn Co. Uh, both women I got to meet while I was there, which was so amazing because they're both just so cool and I love their stuff. Um, and I also got a skein of yarn from Mitchell's Creations and a skein of yarn from Lady Dye Yarns. And I think that's it. Oh, also, check it. I won a door prize. They said Tommy Trujillo over the whole intercom at the marketplace at Stitches. And um, it's because I won a freaking door prize. Mm. So I won a little set of stitch markers. Uh, which I think I also might do as a giveaway. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see if you guys get my door prize or not. Um, but yeah, so it was amazing. And I think this is probably going to close out the vlog. I took a lot of random footage yesterday and uh, I don't know how it's going to look when I put it all together into a video. I'm pretty sure like after all my random footage, it just stops. So this is probably going to be a little choppy, but uh, you know, what are, what are you going to do? I had a great time. It was so much fun. If you came up to me and said, hi, thank you. You're the best. I love you so much. You just like made my day so good. And I got to most people I met and talked to, I made sure to get a picture with, and I put all those pictures up on Instagram. Um, but there were a few people that I was just so caught up in the moment that I didn't ask for a picture. So sorry. Um, especially you, Laura. I run into you every single year, and I always forget to get a picture with you, but hi. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna keep driving now, and um, see you later. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Okay, bye!